Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Alejandro, I am the CGI nerd, and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, introducing you guys to Python scripting inside of Houdini, and we're just, this is going to be a very kind of basic uh, introduction to being able to work with Houdini inside of Maya. Let me get the chap up really quick in case there are any questions while we are live today. And doo -doo -doo. I have the chat right here, I believe. Let me switch this to live chat. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we are all set up. So here inside of Maya, I have, or sorry, not Maya. Here inside of Houdini, we have kind of the build uh, layout, which is, or the build desktop, which is the, the uh, default desktop that you typically see when you open up Houdini. Uh, I'm going to switch over to, oops, not terrain, I want technical. And the technical actually gives me the Python shell down here in the bottom. Uh, that will actually be a cool way for us to have a little bit of <clears throat> um, feedback when we are doing code so that we can see print statements and stuff like that. That ends up being pretty useful. So uh, I have that. The other thing I like to have up when I am working, because I could type coding here, but uh, I would only ha be able to write one line of code at a time. Uh, if we look at Windows, we have the uh, Python source editor. This is another window here that we can look at. And with this window here, we are able to type uh, multiple lines of code and be able to execute it all at once. So that is pretty useful when we are going to be making uh, bigger pieces of code. Technically, this um, first bit of code that we are going to be doing is going to be one line and actually for an introduction to this just to get a program up and running uh, if we do print and then open a parentheses and then in a single quote type in hello world close that single quote and close the parentheses oops I put a double quote let's try that again there we go now if I uh, push enter, it runs that line of code, and it pops it down here. <clears throat> that is uh, the simple one-line command, but you can see as we went to the next line, it automatically ran that code. Uh, here inside of the source editor, we can try doing the same code. We can do hello, or sorry, print. And then inside parentheses and inside the single quotes, we can do hello world. And let's, I'll click apply down here. And you can see that it runs the code here. And we get the result down here that says hello world. <clears throat> So I want to show you guys a little bit of a extra feature that we can find here inside of Houdini. Um, it is going to be a little bit uh, more advanced code, not very advanced or anything, but I want to show you guys where Houdini reads for Python files. So that way we can actually create a file and um, have Houdini actually uh, import that file and read it. So, uh, 
we need to write these sets of commands and um, in the future lessons we'll explain more of what exactly this code will be doing but um, I just want to be able to give you guys a list or so that you can find a list of directories and your own computer where you can put Python files to start working from. So it's going to be import, import. Hi Clint, how are you today? Nice to see you in the chat. So I'm going to put import, oops, sys which is our system commands. And I'm going to say for ku path in sys dot path. I want to print ku path. And then I'm going to click apply. And here in the, the Python shell, you can see that there are a few directories here where um, Houdini is already looking for Python files. So let's see, uh, probably an easy one to look into is the program files. Uh, side effects, Houdini, and the bin folder, or actually, we'll do Python 2.7. We'll look in there. So, I will go here, and let's go to the C drive, program files, side effects software. Uh, what was it that it was called? Let's double check inside of Houdini. Uh, program files, side effects software, Houdini 16.5. So let's look over here. And I am not seeing anything here. Is it inside of this one? Nope. Did I install this on the D drive? I think that's what it was. Instead of the C drive, I'm supposed to be looking in the D drive. So let's bring up Houdini again. Yep, the D drive. So I was looking in the wrong drive. I used to have it installed on the C drive, but I actually moved it. So let's go back over here. Let's go to the D drive. And we got program files. And then we can look inside of side effects software. Houdini and Python 2.7 and then here we can actually create uh, Python files. So I'm going to use an external editor. Right now I am using um, Notepad++. You can actually download it for free. It is an open soft uh, editor in, uh, that you can find online. So here I'm going to try that same command. We're going to say print uh, hello world. And you can see that it opened up the, uh, the parentheses for us automatically. It's not color coordinated right now. With this one, we have to tell it uh, what language we're using. So we're doing Python. So we can tell it Python, then it starts color coordinating things for us using the Python commands. And then we can save as. And I am going to go to the PC, go to that D drive, go to the program files, side effects, Houdini. Python 2.7, and in here I'm going to type in hello world and save. So I have saved that there. So let's go back to Houdini. And now to run this command, all we have to do is say import. 
import. Uh, hello, world. So now I run this, and when I run this, you can see that it outputs the hello world command. There is something to be careful with when you are doing this as well. Uh, if we're using this external editor, and let's say we wanted to print another line. Oops. This is my first Python script. There we go. So I've created this. I have to save it. I did Control S and saved that. And now let's try running this command here. We can see that it is not doing anything at all. It's not even writing the original command again and outputting it here. The reason for that is when Python actually runs your script and you import a, um, a file, a Python file into your environment, it runs everything once and then it stores it into memory. And if you try to import it again, in order to save processing time, it says, hey, I've already imported this. I don't need to import it again. So if we have code like this, where we just have commands that we want to be able to reload over again, or we are working on a script that we need to test, we actually need to tell it to reload. So let's say reload. And then we need to tell it what we want to reload. Hello world. And that's going to be inside of parentheses. So I'm going to click apply now and you can see that it runs the second hello world line again and then it says this is my first python script and that is how you get to be able to uh, easily use an external editor and then all you got to do is call that script and uh, reload it so that way you can um, quickly test your uh, program your python programs that you are writing so hopefully you guys found this helpful like i said this is going to be a multi-part series of tutorials this is just the very first introduction just so that you get a program that you can uh run and make do something inside of houdini uh, but we'll go deeper and deeper into python and controlling elements inside of houdini with python as the lessons go by so We'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.